Mathematical practice number five, using the appropriate tools strategically. Now, this one seems to be fairly simple. They can use protractors, rulers, compasses, calculators, all of these tools that are available for math. But really, it goes much deeper than this. You see, we have several tools to help us with mathematics, and that includes technology. It could be learning how to use a spreadsheet so that they can solve their math problems. Those all fall under the category of using tools uh, that are available to them and using them strategically. It's understanding when and how to use a tool effectively. It is probably not the most effective tool to use a compass to try to measure an angle. So it's learning how to use them correctly as well. If we're using a ruler and we're measuring centimeters, we make sure that we're on the centimeter side, side, not the inches. These are all skills that are essential for students in order to be successful when they're using mathematics. However, additionally, and something that we often neglect to teach as math teachers, is learning the limitations of the tools and how to detect errors. Some examples of this would be when they're using a protractor, teaching them which number to use on the protractor. When you look at a protractor, there's a big number and a small number, and they don't know which one to use. So in them how to detect an error when using a protractor. Also knowing any of the limits of that tool. Some tools are not effective for using. For example, paper and pencil is an excellent tool. Using algorithm, those are all excellent tools to use in mathematics. However, using paper and pencil is probably not the most effective tool when it's a complex problem. So these are all fall under the category of using appropriate tools strategically, which is the mathematical practice number five.